following is an update and technical analysis on Bitcoin cryptocurrency here off the daily interval. Well, we had some big headlines uh, rock the cryptocurrency markets uh, with the announcement of the SEC filing a lawsuit against Binance. And uh, really, the SEC primarily serves the interest of major banks, brokers, exchanges, uh, all but neglecting the needs of smaller investors, whereas cryptocurrencies uh, pose a, a significant threat to traditional fiat money lenders. Uh, and in my theory, uh, the lawsuit against Binance uh, is <laughs> based on a 136 page document filled with insinuations, uh, essentially a, a, a fishing expedition uh, within the flawed justice system. The SEC's attack on Binance uh, stems from its failure uh, to involve them in the FTX controversy. Uh, Binance established its uh, U.S. exchange back in 2019, uh, precisely because uh, it was barred from operating in the U.S. Uh, and therefore, uh, this lawsuit lacks any substantial basis. And it seems to be another attempt uh, to disrupt the cryptocurrency markets. And, and once again, how the charts proved uh, to manufacture the headlines uh, where we put in this nice, big, clean, divergent high off this primary uh, head and head and shoulder uh, neckline uh, top here where I had mentioned in that previous video where if we had put in that nice uh, solid daily candle close uh, that would issue a near-term sell signal uh, on a near-term uh, first target of that 25208 support. And really what had happened, it looked like we were going to melt right through it, uh, ended up having a whipsaw-like reaction, came on, consolidated, back-tested it really to the button there, uh, offering an additional dollar cost average on your short trade position. Uh, ended up consolidating further, came right back up on a nice clean counter trend rally, and we never uh, put in a solid daily candle close above that uh, bottom of that neckline there. But really, what had to happen uh, intraday, we ended up uh, close to back testing my key 28,628 uh, price resistance coinciding with the 50 day moving average, uh, which again is an additional objective entry short without a break of breakout above uh, the entire trade down uh, darn near close to that first target. That's good for a 10.6% crash there. And especially uh, if you're an active end or day trader, you could uh, have begin to scale in. That was only about uh, close to six tenths, six tenths away from that 25208 price support, uh, whereas uh, you begin to scale in and in a single day, netted you 7.4% gains. Uh, and here we are, uh, looks like uh, traders are starting to collect some profit up on the top here uh, for a potential move uh, back down to the downside, whereas we have now a uh, nice clean confirmed primary downtrend line uh, right amongst this key inflection point. So, uh, you know, we could have a, a counter trend rally right back above uh, this price resistance coinciding with that 50 day moving average, uh, which would offer an additional objective entry short uh, right back to that target to that 25208 price support. And if that gets taken out, very major uh, price support with multiple uh, reactionary highs right across the board there. Uh, again, again, right back in uh, 2022 of August. Uh, so it's a very validated support level. They've had their buy orders set uh, pretty quickly there. So if we take that level out there uh, on uh, on a much larger uh, sell-off event down to the primary uptrend line off the uh, November uh, 2022 reactionary lows, uh, I call it a hidden primary uptrend line here, um, and it, which will cut right through the 200-day moving average. So big key inflection point there. If we go on to even test it and or especially take it out, that would offer an additional objective entry short and a much larger uh, sell signal, in my opinion. On a move down to 22,469. So we'll see what happens. Um, bull traders, uh, dip buyers, long term investors, they want to see a solid breakout above uh, this key inflection point, this primary downtrend line here off the April reactionary highs. They want to see a solid breakout amongst that 50 day moving average and a stair step move to the upside, uh, taking out that finally taking out that 28,628 price resistance uh, for a next move uh, up to that 31,914 uh, price resistance. So we'll see what happens. We're at a key inflection point. Um, time to scale in short right here on the top of that primary top trend line for a nice clean risk reward ratio to the downside.